Hi, welcome to Travel Uke. Um, I'm Brooke, and you're watching a tutorial for the Billy Idol song, Dancing With Myself. Um, this was also a pretty popular cover by Nouvelle Vague. So I'm going to show you um, how to play it, and then how to kind of change the style um, so you can play it either like Billy or you can play it like Nouvelle Vague. Um, so first I'll show you um, what it'll look and sound like really quickly, and then I'll show you the chords. Um, the pattern or the sequence of the song um, and the strum pattern and um, with the strum pattern that's how we're going to change it up so it's more like Billy or more like New Bell Vibe. So, so first a little demonstration. For Nouvelle Vague, it sounds a little more like this. So it's a very fairly simple song. We're playing um, the same chords all the way through for most of the song. So the chords are E, the bottom string of the second fret, and the top three strings of the fourth fret. And I play it with my thumb like this. This is E. Um, next is A. So the second string of the first fret and the top string of the second fret, A. For the Nouvelle Vague version, there is a chord variation option that you have. It's optional. You might not like how it sounds. Um, but that is F sharp minor. So that is the A position plus the third string of the second fret. So we have one, two, three. This is F sharp minor. And then B. So the bottom two strings of the second fret, the second string of the third fret, and the top string of the fourth fret. B. There's another optional chord here at one place in the song. Um, the part where he is repeating, if I had the chance, that's the world to dance. And that is B7. So that's barring the second fret and then add the second string of the third fret. This is B7, but that's also optional. So what you really need is just E, A, and B. So for the pattern of the song, we're gonna play E, then A, then B, and then A. And then we start that pattern over again. If you're gonna add the F sharp minor in the Nouvelle Vague version for a little flavor, then you're gonna play E, then F sharp minor, then B, and then A. And start that pattern over again. So that's for the whole song. The only time that we stray from the pattern is when he repeats the lyric, if I had the chance, I'd ask the world to dance. And that is on B already. If I had the chance, I'd ask the world to dance. You just stay here. And this is where you can put in that um, B7 if you want to. Um, and then from that B, when he's finished saying, if I had the chance to ask the world to dance, you go back to the beginning of the pattern with E. So, for the strum pattern. The strum pattern is really standard. Down, down, up, up, down, up, 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 down. But it's much, not much faster. That sounds frightening. It's a bit faster. <laughs> um, so it'll sound more like this. E, A, E, A. And then we start over. the Nouvelle Vague version, you're going to want to swing the rhythm, the rhythm a little bit, so it's more like this, the strum. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down,
Thanks for watching.